over the next couple of videos, we're going to be installing and getting started with an email template builder, which will allow us to customize and set up nice email templates for our application. So let's get started with how we can implement this email template builder along with fixing a small last thing on the menu builder as well. In this video, we're going to be adding in an icon to here. So let's go ahead and add the icon here. So we can just go ahead and do what we did in here where we pass through the icon. Let's go in here now and make sure we pass it through. On top of that, let's make sure that we put this inside an if condition where we say item icon and then say end if. And we want to make sure we use X marry icon. And that should now allow us to go ahead in here and have the articles icon here as well. Obviously that should not be the articles icon, but in this case, we're now able to essentially set an icon and that allows us to get a bit further with the application. Now, another thing we can go ahead and do is we could look at how we could configure the app name as an example, or we could start adding more things in here. But I think I'm going to leave the navigation system for now and let's move on to some more interesting things in this video in what we can do in our content management system. So the next thing I want to go ahead and look at is an email template builder plugin in here, which will allow us to easily set up some nice templates here. So let's go. So let's go ahead and compose a require this inside our terminal. And in here, let's go ahead and install this installed. Let's go ahead and install this. And we can also just see the application for now using that command. So that's perfect. So that's now sorted. Let's go ahead and register this plugin inside admin panel provider. And let's go ahead and take a look. So let's head into our admin panel. And see what's going on here. And here we have the email templates tab. And we also have in here the ability to see the email template themes. So yeah, in here we can then start working on that. So over the next few videos, we will look at how we can create email templates and themes. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.